Hey, welcome back to uh, Poksu Channel or Reverb, wherever you might be seeing this. Hey, I, I kind of went crazy buying a lot of Garcia guitars <clears throat> the last few years because I bought one from a pawn shop. I don't buy much from pawn shops, but I bought one from a pawn shop that sounded amazing. And so it kind of woke me up. And I'm the kind of guy where if I get curious about something, I'll kind of exhaust it just to learn about it. So I bought a lot of different Garcias. This one was the hardest one to find. I think it took me about two years to find it. Uh, it's a Gar it's a Garcia 2A, <clears throat> and the flame on it is just absolutely stunning. It looks so cool on my wall. It's like art, you know, and it sounds great too. Kind of sounds like royalty to me, or a, gu a guitar would be owned by a king. And I've owned guitars that are worth twelve thousand dollars, so my ear is pretty spoiled. And if you can find a good Garcia, they're really nice. Um, and I want to just mention though, you know, most fifty-year-old guitars are going to have an uneven top. They're going to have some issue. That's just normal. You know, just like an old Martin guitar. So, you know, some if you're out there and you want to buy a guitar and you don't have a lot of experience with vintage guitars, maybe you should stay away from vintage stuff because some people expect it to play and set up like a newer guitar and it's different, you know. But with nylon strings, having a little higher action actually produces more tone. And a lot of concert classical guitar, play, concert classical players like super high action so they can get even more tone and hit the strings hard and everything like that. But this, I do mostly a tuning with this guitar using a, um, <clears throat> I drop the E to a D and the, and the G to an F sharp. But yeah, I, I love the tone of this guitar. And the more you play it, it still needs to open up because most of these haven't been played. Most of these guitars just haven't been played much. This one will open up even more. But yeah, it's got a little bit, like almost every one of my Garcias has a little issue. That's just normal for an older guitar. So some people don't seem to get that. <clears throat> but yeah, it goes up a little bit here behind the bridge, kind of a wave, you know, kind of goes up. And then kind of, you know, kind of goes up from here and goes up a little bit and then kind of comes down. Kind of like, like a wave in the ocean that hasn't, hasn't turned into a full wave yet, you know. <clears throat> Very normal. I mean, this is a 50-year-old guitar has wood from all over the world, and uh, that's one of the reasons it sounds so good. But yeah, like I said, so I just mentioned that because some people, I mean, I had a, I had a Ramirez 1A that sold for thousands and had action about, actually was higher than this one. But I had a, I took a picture of this with a penny and you, it kind of gives you a little bit of a gauge at the 12th fret here. Um, but yeah, this, these are really nice guitars. I, I, I'm just emphasizing that point <coughs> because some people will buy a vintage guitar. <coughs> Excuse me. Some people will buy a vintage guitar and expect it to be set up like a newer guitar and blah, 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 blah. But you know, the uh, older guitars, you kind of have to understand what you're getting into. And it's never been a problem with me. I've done recording with my Garcias. Uh, and uh, I mean, if you're expecting to buy a, a, a guitar with a 50-year-old top and, and you want to have it set up like an electric guitar, you know, kind of super, you know, it's just, you shouldn't be buying vintage guitars, you know. But anyway, this is a really nice guitar. And I can just tell, 
I can just tell it, it hasn't been played much because it sounds beautiful, but I can, I, I've had so much experience with guitars playing since I was seven or eight and buying and selling, collecting for over 30 years, that so this guitar will wake up a lot more. And it will have more overtones and more wood, but it sounds awful good, awful damn good right now. You can really hear the clarity. The bass is woody and chimey and not just bleh, not just a shit howdy bass here. I think the I think these Garcias are some of the best value in the world. And this is one of the hardest ones to find, by the way. I love this guitar. I, I, I gave a Garcia to my wife. She loves it. And I really bought these more just to keep, but I just started a new business and putting some money into that. So I'm really not nuts about selling any of my Garcias. Because I just love them. I really do. But I've had handmade guitars made by German luthiers. I've had, you know, Ramirez, 1As. I've, I've had a lot of guitars, some very expensive. Uh, so my ears spoiled, but the wood from all over the world on these and uh, even just a chord like that listen to that bass that kind of says it all right there yeah that growl but you play this guitar for 20 hours it's going to be a whole new guitar and then it will be another guitar at 30 hours another guitar at 40 hours I find that after about about 50 hours you know, it really, really comes into its own, you know. Um. Anyway, I better keep this video short. But yeah, that's some real, real nice tone. Guitar. I have this on the wall by a piece of art that a friend of mine gave me. And I just love it. You can hear that. Can you hear that bass? And that really says it all about the guitar right there. Like I said, you just have to understand when you're buying an older guitar, you're going to have some issues. And like I said, this has the, the top kind of goes up here. It's kind of, kind, of a, kind of a wave, kind of comes up and goes down. So fucking what, you know? <laughs> You just, you know, you just got to understand that. Some people just don't understand vintage guitars. But anyway, it's a really sweet guitar. I'm really going to miss it. I really am. I'll give somebody a good situation. I didn't get, this is not something I got at a garage sale for 50 bucks, you know. I just wanted to try as many Garcias as I could. And I, I, I can say I have not been disappointed in any of them. Um, and it's been fun kind of waking some of them up and everything. But I haven't, I haven't had time to wake this one up. I've, I've probably only played this one maybe a couple hours. And it still sounds this good. It just sounds beautiful. Anyway, I just love the wood on this guitar. It's just so beautiful flame on the sides and the back and this like I said this is a 50 year old guitar so um, you know anywho if somebody buys it I hope it goes to no refunds no returns I don't want to dick around with this I'll give you a great price but like I said if you have no and, and there's some little light scratches here from my fingernails and stuff but if you don't have hardly any experience buying older guitars I prefer you don't buy this because I don't want somebody that doesn't understand what they're getting into but I love this guitar. I'm super happy with it. Um, I don't expect to have super low action. I mean, most classicals do have a little bit higher action. That's just kind of the way they, they come, you know. And with the vintage ones, you get a little higher. But, you know, it's, uh, it's all doable with, with the way I play. 
So anyway, I'm going to miss this one if somebody buys it, but anywho, she's a beauty. All right, take care. Bye-bye.